everybody and welcome back to an unboxing video. Today we're unboxing the iPad 12.9 inch Pro model. We use this for business so I'm excited to get this open with everything moving to Zoom life. Uh, this seemed like a must for us. Uh, we usually have multiple things running, running our computer, running our iPad, and sometimes our cell phone in order to get things up. It's like everybody's moved to this full production scale level of video usage. So we uh, picked the 12.9 inch version so that we would have the biggest screen real estate. The other reason I wanted to get this model is the sidecar. I wanted to use sidecar for editing videos and getting content out there. It's actually been very, very convenient to have that. As you can see here, we have the usual information booklets. Let's throw them aside there, get into the real stuff. Got our USB-C to USB-C charge cord that comes in the box. Throw that aside for right now. The 20 watt charging brick. Now, this is also gonna work for your MagSafe chargers. So if you're gonna get an iPad, you'll at least get a charging brick, unlike the iPhone. Nothing else is in the box, pretty simplistic, Apple design. Let's get into uncovering this beauty. There's something so satisfying about that peel back motion when you're uncovering a new Apple product. Now I'm one of those people, as you can see, the fingerprint on the screen that puts a screen protector on right away. And the screen protector I got for this iPad is one of the ones that's supposed to make it feel like paper. Spoiler alert, I don't feel a difference, but I think a lot of people do like these things. This is a cheaper version of that screen protector. I'm gonna put it on for you. I'm actually probably the worst person on YouTube to show you how to do this. Um, they came with two different screen protectors and I ended up using both of them. So if you're like me, it's a good thing that they send two, but these were super cheap. I think it was $9 or $10 on Amazon, something like that. Super, super cheap version, so not the name brand version. I'm sure the name brand versions probably actually make it more of a paper-like feeling. When it comes to screen protectors or cases, I'm gonna get the cheaper versions of them. You get your usual booklets with that. I always just throw them aside. Probably shouldn't with the screen protector because it's probably information on how to do this properly, but um, let's go off of my years and years of experience with the skill level not increasing over those years of getting new phones every single year. Always start by wiping down the screen with the alcohol wipe. They usually send one or two or a couple if you're lucky. And then you want to move to the microfiber cloth, then the sticky pads. While you're watching this though, as far as the screen protector goes protecting, I think that it does an actual uh, really, really good job. I don't notice a lot of fingerprints on the screen from the screen protector and it is extremely uh, thin so you, you don't really notice it when it's on the screen. In fact, I had to look at it the other day because I thought that the screen protector had been pulled off. I didn't know if my wife had removed it for whatever reason, but it is still there. Um, it works great for being a screen protector, just not to get that paper-like filling on the iPad when you're using the pencil. Another funny thing about this video, and you'll get to see this in here, and uh, I, I thought I was just getting a really, really great deal. I should be unboxing a smart keyboard in this video, but instead, um, or I am unboxing a smart keyboard. See, I did it again here. This is the, the smart keyboard, and what I thought I was getting was the magic keyboard. So you'll actually see me as I pull this out of the box, I try and stand it up on its own, and I'm pretty confused at why it won't, and that's why 
you know, it was a couple hundred bucks rather than 300 bucks. I had the person run it again because I thought they had messed up, but really the person that messed up was me. So uh, don't say smart keyboard if you want the magic keyboard. Know what you're going to get because I ended up with this and now this is what we're using. The biggest design differences between the two of those is the magic keyboard has a trackpad on it. And I wanted that trackpad because I wanted more of a computer-like feel. This is a nice case. The buttons have a very tactile feel to them. And so I'm not too sad about it, but I, I do want that magic keyboard at some point. I think that it would uh, be a good addition to it. I know that people say it has some quality issues. This one's held up pretty well. And, you know, we're, I'm careful with my devices, but I definitely still beat them up. Now here's the Apple Pencil. I actually think this is a must. There's a lot of people out there that they get this and they say they don't use it. I actually use it all the time, whether it's on a Zoom meeting and I'm scribbling some notes on it or directing people to information pages and drawing all over them. Uh, or if I'm just simply writing out information, if you're doing a lot of Zoom meetings, I think it's good to break it up and actually having something there instead of like a whiteboard, you know, or a chalkboard or something, it's really, really good to have this. So it makes the, the meeting flow a little bit better. I will say this though, if you're traveling with it, make sure you're very cautious with the pencil. It's very easy to lose the pencil. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that this helps you in some way about your decisions on the iPad. I think it was a great purchase and we're excited to continue to use it and maybe I'll do an update video of how it's going further in the future. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video and we'll see you in the next one.